everyone. Welcome to Midweek Sharing. Clarence and I hosted our live group at our place prior to social gathering restrictions. And at one of the Thanksgiving sessions, I said that I thank God for our live group because having the live group over at our place made us clean our house more thoroughly. And in the Bible, we have some home fellowships too. Martha and Mary had Jesus and his disciples over at their house and there are things that we can learn about Jesus from their conversations. Luke 10 verse 38 to 40 reads, As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, why don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Then in the next two verses, Jesus replied, Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, You are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. From Jesus' responses, I noticed three things. Firstly, Jesus is gentle and kind. Martha came to Jesus being distracted and frustrated, having to clear her to-do list that she set herself. Yet in his reply, he said, Martha, Martha. Repeating her name is almost impossible for him to be raising his voice. Martha, Martha. It just doesn't fit. And this is assuring, knowing that sometimes we could be carried away by our emotions and being raw with our tone and language when talking to God. But thankfully, Jesus is kind and gentle. And secondly, Jesus gave Martha the free will to do what she wanted. Jesus would have probably noticed that Martha hustling around the house, preparing many things for Jesus and the disciples. Knowing that Martha did not choose to do what was better, that was to sit and listen to him, he did not call her out and ask her to come and sit down too. If we intentionally or unintentionally become like Martha in our time with God, we could go on to be like her and not get scolded by God. But it doesn't mean that we have chosen the better one or whether our action is in line with God's desire to commune with us. It may be simply because we have the free will and our God is not an authoritarian God. And thirdly, Jesus did not shortchange Mary when she has chosen to be present and commune with God. Jesus said it will not be taken away from her. Jesus did not ask Mary to go and help your sister. So if we choose to be like Mary, it is comforting to know that we can always go to Him and spend time with Him although people may expect us to do uh, other things. And there will always be chores and errands to do. What is important is when we decide enough is enough. And instead of ticking off our to-do list for the day, we tick off a box that says uninterrupted time with God. Do we set aside time to commune with God? Or when God speaks to us, do we, are we ready to sit down and listen? Or are we distracted by our to-do list? Have a blessed week ahead. Okay.